we do not read reversals with this one, so we better turn the text, right? Um, so Cancer, we do have the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles, right? We are very patient. We might have been rejected, left out in the cold, no communication. We don't understand. Maybe some financial challenges and yet here we are very patient, right? Very patient when it comes to this person and um, their ways, right? Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, might be a Sagittarius or an Aries Leo Sagittarius, usually Sagittarius, but um, might have been like a, a fire sign and they, you know, walked away. The Knights, that's what they do. They have, uh, they have fun and they leave. Uh, but they leave us with, with uh, memories, right? We have the Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, despite, right? That's, and it's so Cancer, so loving um, energies, right? And so, um, you know, when we um, we continue to stay right um, on the right path emotionally when it comes to this person, so kind towards them, we have you in the Six of Cups energy, right? Despite re the rejection, we only remember uh, the best, right? What they did. Um, I would say good in this connection, right? And one thing them back, that's the Six of Cups. Five of Pentacles, the Emperor might have been an Aries. If not, this is us taking control, uh, starting to focus on us first, you know. Um, it's kind of me and my belly energy, but, um, well, Cancer is so generous, so... Um, but it comes a time, right, where we, when we start to think about, you know, what's important to us and how to come out of this situation. So let's see, bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your mind, on your mind, Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we are concerned about the situation, um, you know, um, going very slow and we might be stressed out that it might end, right? Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn. Um, and, uh, and that's the overall energy, right? A little bit of stress. So let, we'll see. We'll see where we go from, from here. Um, I do love the energy, uh, Cancer of the Death and New Beginnings, right? We know that whatever cycle is ending, it will absolutely bring a new beginning. It's just the nature of things. And a new chapter is starting, maybe a slow one, um, but we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's such a building steady kind of energy, right? Um, building steady kind of energy. It's a beautiful energy. We do have strength. Um, this is Leo energy, but we'll see, um, you know, if it's, um, if it's yours, it will come around. Um, so Cancer, past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let us have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. And again, it's, uh, this reading is for September 2020, but you know how energies work in tarot. And thank God for the free will and the best judgment ever, or uh, using your better judgment. Guess what? We have the Six of Cups again. We really miss and the Knight of Pentacles again. For some of you, it might be an, an Earth sign actually that we miss and want and we want them again. And we want that ending to become a new beginning. And for some of you, this is energy coming your way. It's like we are stressing about something and the universe delivers, right? That Knight of Pentacles. I so love the energy of the Knight of Pentacles and, um, and sometimes say, yeah, Minkela, but it's slow. But it, it gives a sense of security and stability. It gives, you know, when uh, the waves of life, you know, hit left and right and we get so stressed. Sometimes I try to kind of channel the energy of Knight of Pentacles. So maybe this is you, you know, channeling a little bit. It's like, you know what, how about baby steps? How about, you know, one day at a time? Um, and yes, we might be missing this person. We had a couple of times now, the Six of Cups. Um, and longing and remembering the time, but still, it's like, you know, let me get grounded a bit and, and you know, my life um, calls me, right? That's, that's the Knight of Pentacles. How about what's around me? Um, so Cancer, we absolutely were deeply in love with this person, with the Knight of Cups. Um, reminds me of um, classic um, kind of um, romance movie, right? Where the love, it's like, um, you know, um, 
um, I don't want to say overwhelming because it has an element of out of control, but it's simply beautiful and helps us uh, grow and become passionate and sensual and the skin is glowing, you know. Well, that is the energy of the skin is glowing and um, the connection is um, is good. Um, and again, Knight of um, Knight of Cups and um, Queen of uh, Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel this um, this is more about you flying because the connection makes you fly in terms of passion, in terms of emotions, in terms of fulfillment of wishes, in terms of uh, of, of your cup being uh, full with this person, right? Um, beautiful energy of love and beautiful energy of passion. Uh, well, they came to this connection with um, Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort and the Ace of um, Swords. And you know how this feels? It feels like eyes wide open, right? Somebody entered, well, this person, and again, you can swap your sides but, uh, and take only what resonates on from both um, sides. But this is somebody saying, you know what? I am going to give Cancer a chance and I'm going to work on this. Um, but again, Ace of Swords, their sword was in their hand, you know, so I'm seeing clearly, I'm, um, I'm, I understand what's going on, um, I reply to this and I cut the BS, you know, very extremely um, hands-on, but also very brainy kind of, kind of energy. And here comes the pentacles, and I kind of feel cancer, the pentacles are your energy, you know, um, because we had so many, so much love and so um, you know, overwhelming emotions. We probably saw a family and um, we invested right away. Um, so what do we have here? Uh, we have the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Two completely different energies. One of groundiness and building um, and abundance and focusing on everyday life. Page of Wands is, oh, let me consume my passion and then I'm going to start to think. But for now, I'm being guided by, um, you know, by my passion. Um, and it, it feels like a connection that that um, kind of took off um, um, rapidly and it went from knights to kings um, and queens right away. So developed, matured, we had passion, we well, were feeling like investing, but again, one energy of, of, of you, Cancer, full of love for this person, the other one is, yeah, I'm going to calculate and, me and measure what I put in this one. And, um, and eyes wide open that... Um, that's an energy that I'm picking up. So, um, Cancer, where are we right now? We do have the Tower um, and the Seven of Pentacles. So our life is in pieces right now. We are concerned about money, about finances, about emotions, about endings, about death, about transformation that uh, this um, encompass in some way in your life or brought. And... Um, and yet we have expectations, right? Seven of Pentacles is, but I've invested in it and I better get something out of it. Um, again, an energy of staying strong, an energy of, you know what, I'm going to take baby steps. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm going to reach my harvest. Um, but it's tough. I know, Cancer. I know, right? The tower is tough right now. And uh, it's such an energy of rebuilding and it's such an energy of disruption where building sometimes and some of some of the days are like you know hard to um put in place or hard to follow the plan right but i love the energy of seven of pentacles we know what to do we know what to do now this person of yours they do have the lovers and the nine of pentacles gemini energy but this is um in all honesty cancer this person they might be single at this time and yet having a bit of fun Having options, the lovers is about options in love. Um, it's about a little bit of, you know, uh, playfulness there. But still, Nine of Pentacles focused on uh, their abundance, their money. Might be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and we know how important assets and financial stability are for them. And we had them focused on work um, here, learning a skill, going to school, really dedicated to something. And now we have them in the Nine of Pentacles energy, right? making sure they have enough um, maybe uh, they are a business owner maybe they just opened uh, um, a business of some sort but also um, kind of a player energy it's like yeah I'm single and I'm having a bit of fun here now mutual energies between the two of you we do have the nine of wands and the nine of cups blocking wish fulfillment 
one still has emotions and desire and longing and the other one is in nine of wands energy i'm blocking this i'm not open to this i need my time i need my space they might also be hurt um cancer this person of yours or they might have just asked for a little bit of distance um it feels like i want to experience something you know uh, they might have um, gone um, cancer in the past from, yeah, I'm willing to work on it, to I'm cutting this off, I'm starting new. I want to have some fun before I settle down in some way. Um, it's also, for some of you, their energy, you know. Um, and blocking, and blocking. I don't know who has drinking problems, um, cancer, might be, might be. Somebody, somebody is having, you know. One is having fun, the other one is maybe um, kind of um, drowning the sorrow uh, with, um, you know, I'm just saying. I'm throwing that out there. It's a strong energy. It's right in the core, at the core of the reading. Um, you know, an energy where because of the other person blocking or because of um, lack of contact, because of uh, explosions of some sort, we might be indulging in stuff. Um, actually, both of you in two different ways. That is one probably in indulging in pleasures of um, of the body and the other person having uh, one glass too many here. Nonetheless, there is an explosion and we are um, picking up the pieces, right? Uh, moving forward, we are wondering when the strength will come, will come out. And this is um, um, cancer, this is um, choosing uh, courage, choosing, choosing strength. Um, this is energies of um, being on our best behavior for some of us this might be guidance it's kind of the universe saying to a cancer out there um, you know we should uh, tame ourselves for a bit you know uh, we have to stay courageous through it that's the strength right and the two of wands yes to crossroads but uh, we still have to have a bit of control somebody here is actually called to be a little bit in control and yes to waiting but no to a disruptive um, you know behavior frustration anger um, and um, allow whatever transformative energies um, um, is happening right now are happening um, it's an energy of allowing um, them to enter your life now this person of yours what's coming uh, well betrayal and pain is coming their way they do have the ten of swords and the ace of swords um, and you know how it feels, Cancer? It feels like somebody really uh, finally realizing how much they hurt you, right? Ten of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Somehow it's um, the energy of the past coming back around and somebody here realized the effort that it requires to be in a commitment, the effort that it requires to be dedicated to a marriage, to a relationship. And probably they said, you know what, I commitment gives me nausea, you know? And guess what, um, you know, they go full circle right now and they have the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Realizing that they actually kind of uh, backstabbed you uh, ten times, right? And um, and it's a painful realization, And it's um, but they needed to go through the cycle, right? They might ha be having a lot of fun right now, um, but moving forward, they are going to get smarter. And speaking of smarter, right? We have the hangman. Um, again, energies where uh, your person finally realizes, right? Changes their perspective and sees the situation from a different one. And we have you a little bit confused, right? Because nothing is moving for September. Um, and it's the first week of September. But again, you know how time is. We have one in the energy of, I don't know what's going to happen. Confused, a, a bit confused, but also probably a little bit uh, with still desire and and um, um, hoping, hoping that something will happen. And then we have the hangman, and I feel this is their energy again, of awakening, of realization, observing you, stalking you, making you know, um, kind of wanting to validate something, and um, and with the ace of swords, right? Clarity of the mind. Um, hey, Cancer, let's let's ask for some guidance. And I'm, I am using Romance Angels. Let's see what we are guided to do now that we um, see what we see here. Um, so we do have this could be the one 
You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so if your question was, are they the one? Well, the answer, it looks like they, they might be the one. We do have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. So somebody walked away from you. Maybe it was your husband, your wife. They walked away, and guess what? They might be the one. And we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, wow. We'll see. It feels like, I don't know, right? And I really need you to use your better judgment because we have here a lot of stress, a lot of disruption. And yet the universe says, well, this involves a marriage. We let go of control and they might be the one, you know? So, yeah, they may be the one, but if they bring the tower, you know, at some point we have to make choices there. Um, and we have you stressed, and at the same time we have you building steady a new beginning here. So, but let's see what else. Oh my God, they really complete you, Cancer, yin and yang, right? Masculine and feminine energy, inward, outward, and this could be the one. Together it's a beautiful um, energy. We do have the garden. You have a wedding in the garden. Somebody here, um, Cancer, this is this is by excellence the energy where you need to kind of cultivate your marriage and and be the nurturing and the gardener of of this, right? It's like taking care and um, make it a pri and kind of somebody here is guided to make it a priority. Such an energy, oh my God, such a clear message for somebody. You know, because a marriage, right? We take the weed out, right? We, it's it's like a garden. If we want it to be beautiful, right? We need to um, take care of and, um, and kind of somebody here is guided to take care of their own marriage, to look at it as a completion uh, of some sort and a realization that they are the one. Let go of control of control issues goes with be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care, Cancer. What's going on? We let go of control issues and we are guided to be supportive towards this person. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. And it's interesting. It's interesting, Cancer. When you look at the energy that is coming your way, it's kind of the universe asking you to choose to be strong. And now let go of control and be supportive. It's quite interesting. Uh, it's such a clear message for somebody out there, you know. Um, to be supportive of whatever happens at this time to this person of yours. Um, so let's see the energies we put back into the flow. And we do have surrender to miracles, Cancer. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Okay. We do have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So that is something that we need to put back into the flow and that's um, this um, expansion of the mind. And it's interesting, that is magic in it. That is growth and that is magic that we need to put back into the flow. Yeah. So let's have this one. Surrender to inner peace. Of course, we have Nine of Swords and now the universe is guiding us, you know, to let go of control issues and go with the flow, right? So cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner this inner refuge. Other will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Oh yeah. It's kind of somebody that is a plea to stillness and, and trust. And speaking of trust, we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So your intuition, your peace of mind, your inner peace, your uh, personal um, growth and surrender obsessive thinking, bottom of the deck. So if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and even um, or even solve the problem. It's interesting, it feels more like um, Cancer, the energy I'm picking up here is the energy where uh, a Cancer is um, actually guided to work a bit on so many things, expanding your mind. Um, somehow your inner peace or um, lack of, right, at this time, 
might have an impact on this connection and the universe is saying please let go please trust yourself please be supportive and cultivate this marriage like a garden you know and we have knight of pentacles twice and this is building what they one day at a time and we have new beginnings after a transformation of some sort you know the tower moment might be your transformation at this time and instead of going and breaking up with somebody it's like how about how about we reconsider something this is but can be the other way around eh um, and this is the energy I'm picking up, maybe of uh, the energy of a cross watcher and um, in connection with the cancer. So, um, but by the looks of it, I mean, the advice is so simple, so simple. They are the other one, work on your marriage, cultivate this, be supportive. Come on, let go of control issues, be at peace, be at peace and trust this, right? Um, so cancer. This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.